I've learned a lot through livestock judging. Um, I started judging as a freshman in college and one of the biggest eye-opening things for me was that there was actually other people in the world who enjoyed doing the same things as I did. I have been on the livestock judging team since I was nine and I have grown up with the same people on the judging team so and most of those people are showing here today and we're just we're a really close family and we're really close friends. From livestock judging I think the uh, really the main things that I've gained from it are being more observant. You have to notice a lot of minute details while still seeing the big picture, the animals uh, as a whole. I think that I've really learned a lot as far as public speaking goes, your ability to communicate your thoughts and your arguments to another person, uh, to maintain eye contact and to stand you know, with confidence and to just to be more relaxed about things. Last Shot Judging has made me learn I have to, when life presents you with opportunities to make a decision, you have to make one and you have to stick with it and you have to defend what consequences or um, potential great outcomes come with that. You really have to defend your decision and there's also there's a lot of debate that goes on but uh, I, we live on a farm in Limestone County and we have a commercial cow-calf operation and it's also really helped me to evaluate cattle as well, not only in the judging world, but also in my own operation. I've learned a lot more about the industry, about how to work with cattle and how to know what you're looking for in good cattle and good livestock in general. I've learned responsibility from keeping up with practices and, how to, and practicing for those practices. And I've met a lot of great people. I also do drama at my school, and so doing reasons in livestock also helps with that and confidence on stage. And I also do showing, and so being around animals helps with that, and I help out at the farms. The biggest thing I hope you'll take away from it is the, the value in making a decision, defending that decision, and then learning how to apply that to everything in life. The other part of it is, you know, the, the value of networking, you know, the value of appreciating the people you're both on your team but also that you're competing with. Uh, those are things that frankly in this day of everybody gets a trophy, um, it gets lost. You know, competition's a good thing. Uh, it can make people work harder, it can make people think harder, uh, and in his case the value he gets out of competing with his teammates as well as other people um, just gives him you know, that many more advantages as he's doing all of these other things that he does, uh, you know, both in school, in 4-H, as well as, you know, helping me with what we do at the farm. I think the biggest thing I learned to do is talk in front of others and learn, you know, multitasking at the same time, being able to judge a class and remember another class. Um, I think the biggest thing is probably still that the fact of, you know, talking to others, getting to know folks, and uh, the main thing is just being able to do m multiple things at one time. I think some misconception about livestock judging is is if you deal with people from the general public, they feel like that you're trying to make people uh, have careers in the animal world. And really that's not true. Basically, in livestock judging, you're teaching kids a standard. And it doesn't matter what that standard is, you're teaching them a standard. And then they have to master that standard. And then they're given scenarios where they have to evaluate and make decisions. And those decisions are graded. And that happens to us in, in work, and in life and in church and everything we do, those decisions. And what was neat in a 25 year career was to get to see kids you started with at 10 years old, end up in the National Guard as leaders and moving up in rank, seeing those same good decision making skills that they used, uh, help them, uh, hospital administration at Vanderbilt, um, just being moms and dads and homeschooling and taking care of their children and teaching, being those community leaders, going on and being politicians um, and those types of things. And they all, none of those are in the livestock industry today. Uh, livestock judging definitely teaches you to be confident in your decisions and be able to make decisions, be confident in them. And then you have to, in reason, voice your opinion and explain why you did these things. And I think in agriculture, we have to do that a lot, um, especially talking to the consumers about why we do different things with our animals and I think it has better prepared me um, to be able to speak um, from a farmer's perspective to a more urban population and consumer. Well actually it's starting to give me a future. I'm actually looking at going to a junior college and then to a senior college uh, to do the college gate judging. 
Uh, I think it'll really help me out for what I want to do with my life uh, after college and after high school. Uh, meeting folks, knowing folks, making those connect connections and you know, networking a little bit with some others.